Welcome everyone. This is my favorite John Mellencamp song um, I'd like to do for everybody. And uh, it's a true story about a man named Jack Brown who lived in Indiana and uh, ended up taking his life. And it's just, it's one of those songs that strikes home to me. Um, but anyhow, what we are is we're capoed at the fourth fret, to normal. Um, I'll play it at speed. I'm going to play it as if uh, one guitar, but there's actually two guitars in this, so you can, uh, I'll show you both parts as we break it down. Okay, so for this song, what we're playing here is a C, and we're adding a G root note. So I add, I use my ring finger and pull the pinky down onto the fifth string at the third fret. We're going to speak to the capo is open. I follow that up with your normal C chording, and then he goes into um, an E minor and back to the C with the G root note. It's called a G over C. So the opening sequence of notes happens within this G over C chord and um, I'll show you what the notes are so you can practice them within the chord. Um, we're going to start out on the fifth string and again we're speaking to the capo as it's open. So the capo's at the fourth fret. We're going to be, um, which we'll consider zero or open. We'll go to the third fret on the fifth string and then hit that note, and then we're going to come down from open and hammer on to two on the fourth string, and then hit open three. And then we're going to come backwards, hit two, and then open on the fourth string to three on that fifth string. So what we have so far is this. And then we're just going to do open and two on that uh, fourth string and I think it's hammered on it is and the next half of that lick we're gonna go three on the fifth string to open and two hammered on on the fourth string back to open on the three and then two to open on the um, four and this time we're gonna go three on the five to open on the four to three on the five. So that's what's different. So let me show you these notes again slow. One, two, three. Again, if you re play a regular C, that's fine. After you come back to that three, you can place your other finger down. It won't ring, but that gets you ready for the C chord. So if you're playing it with the G over C, touch on the rhythm as you do the opening notes I'll show you how I play the rhythm so 
So I'm doing an upstroke after the notes. And then an up, down, up. So what John is doing for this rhythm here is he's playing uh, the G over C with his ring finger and he's hammering on with his middle finger onto the second fret occasionally. So you can see how that adds to the rhythm and then again the E minor. The other guitar, what he's adding, again, um, he's doing these open notes um, during the verse. He's playing from the first string, three to open, and because you're in the C chord playing that, you just leave your first finger on the second string at the first fret, you're going to use that pinky to play three to one, back to three, and then back to three and then open on that first. So you, again, you're playing the chord. So that's again the second guitar. If you do it with just a normal C, that's fine. And you can throw your ring finger back up there to the G, I'm sorry, your pinky finger, if that's a little more comfortable for you. It's, I think it's good practice to get used to doing this type of a G over C. It's used a lot in folk. Now getting back to that lead guitar, um, I'll call the lead guitar the part that John doesn't play. He tends to do some bass runs within the acoustic and the first bass run is just a walk down. We're going to play the third fret on the fifth string to the second fret to the E minor. I tend, because I'm playing with one guitar, to use my fingers to just 